Hey guys, what's up? It's been a while since we covered an iPhone leak and I've got some really interesting news about the upcoming iPhone 12. We've got lots to cover here, so let's get started. So according to John Prosser of Front Page Tech, we'll be getting four iPhones this time around with two normal and two pro models. The normal models will have screen sizes of 5.4 and 6.1 inches, so we'll see a smaller form factor compared to the 5.8 inches on the iPhone 10 and 10s. The other models will have a 6.1 and 6.7 inch display for the Pro and Pro Max respectively. All of the phones will use an OLED panel this time, so a big upgrade from the LCD we had on the iPhone 11. An OLED panel generally has a higher contrast and deeper blacks compared to an LCD. Also the colors are punchier and more vibrant, so it should make for a good viewing experience. We also have information that these screens are thinner and cheaper to manufacture compared to the ones on the iPhone 11 series while being more energy efficient. Now the iPhone 11 series had the best battery life ever for iPhones, so we can expect to have similar if not better battery life from these phones. Also we know that at least one of the models will come with a 120Hz refresh rate panel, most likely on both of the Pro models is what I think. A higher refresh rate was already seen on the iPad Pro, so it's not hard to imagine that Apple will bring it to iPhones. What's interesting is that finally the notch on the iPhone is getting smaller, so multiple sources have confirmed this and this is the year where the notch will be less intrusive. All the models are expected to have the same size for the notch regardless of the size of the display. The smaller notch doesn't mean that the Face ID is gone, Face ID would still be there albeit in a small form factor. We don't expect the Face ID to go away anytime soon. Also for the design, we are hearing that it might be similar to iPhone 4 4S with flat sides and sharper edges. We've already seen this with the iPad Pros, so this makes sense. The edges will be sharper compared to the current gen iPhones, and I'm really excited about this. The design philosophy has been more or less similar since the iPhone 6, so this is a welcome change. The non-Pro models are supposed to come with an aluminum frame, while the Pro will have a stronger and more premium stainless steel. Now this is exactly what we saw on the iPhone 11 series, so nothing new here. These phones will be powered by the latest and greatest Apple A14 Bionic chip, and we will see a jump from 7 nanometer to 5 nanometer this time around. This might very well be the first 5 nanometer SoC if Huawei doesn't announce the Kirin 1000 before Apple. 5 nanometer should help the A14 perform faster than the 7 nanometer A13 or draw less power at the same performance level. We will also see a jump in the RAM from 4 GB to 6 GB for the majority of the phones, with the base 5.4 inch iPhone 12 having a 4 GB of RAM. Apple has always been very good at memory management, so even 4GB of RAM should be more than enough and it really should not pose a problem. These will of course be the latest LPDDR5 modules. We do have a Geekbench score and it has already crushed the Snapdragon A65 Plus score on the Galaxy Note 20 Plus with a single core score of 1658 and a multi core score of 4612. These are really high scores and we can assume the iPhones to be performance monsters. The A14 will support 5G and all of the upcoming iPhones are supposed to have 5G support. Even the cheapest 5.4 inches will have that and we can assume it to be similar to what Samsung did with the Galaxy S20 series where the cheapest model might come with a sub 6 GHz while the premium may have both millimeter wave and sub 6 GHz 5G. It will also have the latest Wi-Fi 802.11 AY standard which works at 60 GHz and can achieve a transmission speed of 20 to 40 Gbps. These are some insane numbers and we can expect it to have exceptional wireless capabilities. Finally coming to the cameras, the most interesting part of any smartphones these days. We are hearing that both the iPhone 12s will have two cameras while the Pro models will have three cameras plus a LiDAR sensor like the one which we saw on the iPad Pro 2020. LiDAR stands for light detection and ranging and is used to calculate distance and depth information more efficiently. So we can expect to have better portrait shots and AR capabilities from these phones. The main camera may have a 64 megapixel resolution and this may come from Sony. The iPhone 11's cameras were all from Sony and had a resolution of 12 megapixel. So this is a pretty big jump, especially for Apple since the iPhone 6s, which also had a 12 megapixel camera. The sensor can deliver improved 16 megapixel shots with better light sensitivity with the help of 4 is to 1 pixel winning. Apple is also working on a sensor shift technology for image stabilization where the phone's sensor moves in the opposite direction of the shape to compensate for it and hence delivers stable pictures. We'll have to see how this one fares compared to the optical image stabilization on other smartphones. That's it for this video. We are excited for the iPhone 12 especially due to that smaller notch and a 120Hz refresh rate display. What about you? Does any of these features on the upcoming iPhone 12 excite you? Tell us in the comment section below. Please give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Also consider subscribing for more such videos. I'll see you all in the next one. Till then, bye bye and stay safe.